My name's Pastor Dave Drinkard. I'm one of the pastors at the church, and it's another Wesley Wednesday. Linda and I have selected Bishop Reuben Job's book, 40 Days with Wesley, as our devotional during this Lenten season. Today's theme is the way of love. Let us have an opening prayer. O divine love, who calls and sends all who follow you, help me in this time apart to once again hear your voice. Grant grace to hear your voice calling and sending me, and grant faith enough to respond in obedience. Amen. The scripture reading is from John 15, verses 9 through 17. As the Father loved me, I too have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy will be in you and your joy will be complete. This is my commandment. Love each other just as I have loved you. No one has greater love than to give up one's life for one's friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I don't call you servants any longer, because servants don't know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends, because everything I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you could go and produce fruit and so that your fruit could last. As a result, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. I give you these commandments so that you can love each other. A reading from John Wesley. Are you a witness of the religion of love? Are you a lover of God and all mankind? Does your heart glow with gratitude to the giver of every good and perfect gift? Do you walk in love as Christ also loved us and gave himself for us? Do you, as you have time, do good unto all men, and in as high a degree as you are able? Whosoever thou art, whose heart is herein as my heart, give me thine hand. Come and let us magnify the Lord together and labor to promote his kingdom upon the earth. Let us join hearts and hands in this blessed work and striving to bring glory to God in the highest by establishing peace and goodwill among men to the uttermost of our power. A reflection from Bishop Job. Living in community is not easy. Sometimes we're able to live together faithfully only when we remember that God is there with us and that it is God's love that binds us together into the body of Christ. As Christians, we worship and seek to follow the God of Abraham and Isaac, the God of Mary and Elizabeth, the God of Matthew, James, and John, the God of prophets and saints of every age, and the God who made known most clearly in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, we have the best picture of who God is, how God acts in the world, and how God relates to us. In Jesus, we discover the truth that you and I are God's beloved children, just like every other person on this good earth. We not only are authored by God, we are sustained by God every moment of our existence. Our destiny is to live in confidence and trust in loving relationships with this mighty God and with our neighbors, with all God's children who are just like you and me. When we live this way, we begin to love as God loves. We begin to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. The essential nature of the Christian faith in life is love. All else revolves around the vital center, God's love for us and our awakened love for God and our neighbors. And this love is most profoundly, clearly, and simply revealed in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. John Wesley's journal, letters, sermons, and biblical commentaries all reflect this center for his thought and faith. We encourage you to take a few moments following the blessing for silent reflections and prayer, and may you experience a holy Lent.
And now this blessing from John, 1 John 1, 4 through 7. Dear friends, let us love each other because love is from God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Amen. Amen.